What's up, guys? I'm Chasing Lamey. Welcome to episode 201 of Welcome to Roxham. And this week, as long as we can get our episodes out, because obviously it's still trying to move house, and it's going to be quarterfinals week. We start today with the quarterfinal of the FA Cup against Tottenham, and then we've got a two leg Champions League quarterfinal against Manchester United. So a bit of an exciting one coming up. Anyway, without any further ado, like, subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll see you after the intro for hopefully a trip to the semi final. So, you have missed nothing since we last met. This is the first game half of the Chelsea League Cup Final. Go back and watch that if you missed it. Friday, episode number 200. It was a good, good day for us. But, uh, today's style out for the game against Tottenham in the FA Cup quarterfinal looks as follows. Garda and Dolt, Yuri Shernak is the right back. He's uh, struggling a bit for fitness because he got injured by international teams, but he should be okay. Um, Carlos Strecker and Alberto make the rest of the back. Boris Carlotto, Cogboyo and Bellingham in the centre of midfield. Kamara on the right, Marais on the left, Gary Dillon up top. On the bench, Angeloni, Andre, Nunez, Bali, Saya, Emery, Burbs, Fish, Kimenti and Campbell. So a really strong bench. Hoping to not have to use all of the fish. He's a bit tired, but we'll see how it goes. But without any further ado, let's get into the game. Okay, so here in the dressing room, then we're going to do what the assistant says. Show the recent player that's justified, but I'm going to show out there, yada, yada, yada. I'm going to try and rest some of these players at some point during the quarterfinal tie with Manchester United because they are looking a bit tired. Uh, a lot of them have had a holiday during the international break, but even so, I am going to try and keep them as fresh as I can towards the end of the season. The running is very tight. We were, at the start of the day, level on points with Liverpool at the top of the Premier League. They were ahead on goal difference, but they did play Everton, the Merseyside derby, in the 12 o'clock kickoff before this game. So I actually don't know if they won that or not. We'll find out, I guess, in due course. But the game is slowly going underway, so hopefully we'll uh, we'll get a result today. Throw in a Dogi to take it. 16 minutes on the box. Slow start here at Butler Hotspur Stadium as Ricardo goes back to a Dogi. He's going to go back to Ricardo. They're going to try and build Sony Thrust. They're going back to the goalkeeper, which is always a side we're pressing well. Aregi now with the ball goes back to his keeper again, who has a bit of a, a bit of a moment. Uh, back to Ricardo. And now Ricardo goes forward to Montez. Montez is going to Ryanus, and we have been broken open. Ball goes inside for Anderson. We need to push him back outside. He toed it into the box. Montez with a shot. And Juan Montez gets his fourth of the season. And we have not started very well today. I think it's safe to say we have started, some would argue, quite, quite badly. Uh, we, uh, we, we've had a few slow starts lately. And this... Feels a lot like it's going to be one of those ones where we have to really dig in to fight our way back. We are still able to win the quintuple this season. We is, of course, contingent on us winning this game. Gamar now with a free kick into the box. Can we win this in the air? We haven't quite done it. It's been headed away by Arregi to Anderson. And that convoy is going to try to chase it down. Montes now picks it up back to Anderson. And we are going to have to do better with our defending than this. But then it's not going well. As Benitius Tobias plays it through to Bana to foul, foul into the box for Robson, who puts it away. And I don't know what on earth is happening with our defending right now, but safe to say, I am unimpressed because it's very rare we go two goals down and we have somehow come out of the blocks with about as much fight as a dead quadriplegic. Um, that's going to get me cancelled. That's, I thought it as I said it. Joy is fine. You know I love you all. All uh, right, but we're going to break the boys. And hopefully one of them is going to remember they are, in fact, a professional footballer who has won a league championship. Free kick at Spanner to take it into the box. And luckily it didn't go in. We might have a shot of going into half time with an ability just to scream at the players a little bit. And hopefully they'll wake up and remember to football. That would be nice. Because I'm trying to think, perhaps I'm trying as I'm talking. Gary Dillon goes down with an injury, and I was going to take him off anyway because he's been rubbish, but I didn't want him to get killed. Uh, right, we're going to take him off, said Connor Campbell, and give him a team talk, give him a point of the finger, and show up and perform because we need it. It's been a fruit rarity for the team, but when I make this up, 
but that was one of those times where it was definitely needed because someone has to step up and take control of this game, and it may as well be Connor Campbell. Throw in as Alberto to take it to Bellingham. Are we going to look like a more attacking team now? Carlotto gets a foot in there. Weber forward to Banner. Banner to Anderson. They're going to hit us on the break for a third just before half time. You can feel it coming. A spell now runs at us, and we are going to need something special to happen. But it's it's Tobias with the ball over the top back to Val. And uh, Val into Rob Robson. Luckily, struck against it clear. Bellingham heads on. Campbell is there. Uh, heads out to Marais. Hopefully, he old it doesn't. Arregi gets his foot in there, but it's just Tobias back to Arregi, and they're going to come back at us. And this is going to be all over before half time. Carlos, what on earth, son? What, why? Just smash it into a stand. Any stand, and Robson gets the third for Spurs. And to say I'm unimpressed with the collapse here to start the week is something of an understatement. Antonio Carlotto looks like he's given everything he has. Well, if that's everything he has, then um, he shouldn't be playing professional football because he's been crap. So uh, that's gone well. Uh, right, we are going to scream at the boys at halftime because that's the only thing he can do. Uh, thrash the old arms. That was terrible. Get better. And, uh, well, let's, uh, let's have a little talk. But let's do the individuals first. Let's take uh, Hudson Carlos and... Uh, well, Casper Garda, give them a bit of shutting up because I'm furious with your performance. Get better. Uh, if, uh, safety goes on a 6.5 and a 6.4, of which, of course, there are many because we have been terrible. Uh, give them a good old pointy finger as well and say, you've not been good enough so far there together. And everyone else, we're just going to say, uh, get better. You can improve, get better. That's what I need to see, do, and hear. Uh, let's give us an edge in attack. Good, everyone seems motivated. Let's get out there. I say everyone, the goalkeeper's not. But frankly, he's let three goals in the first half. So he couldn't be doing worse. I'm regretting picking him because usually I would pick a cup goalkeeper. And I don't know why I've not today. But there we go. That's life. And we're going to have to live with it. Let's berate the boys as well because they need to fire up, get some goals, get some goals quickly. Otherwise, we're going to be in real, real trouble. Uh, Vinicius Tobias for throw and I've made big old sweeping changes. So I don't know a second comment. He is one of them though. He finds Campbell. Hopefully the subs will do better. Uh, I've sent Dre on at left back. I've sent Fish on a right wing. Uh, Say Emery is on a central midfield. And uh, Alberto has moved to centre half as Connor Campbell gets a goal. Picks the ball back up. There's 30 minutes left. Can this revised team possibly, possibly provide a real fight back? Because that would be. Honestly, very necessary. Great cross there. Campbell gets ahead to it. Bergen uh, does nothing to save it. And, uh, well, we have a chance to fight back, but someone is going to have to step up and lead this team. And, uh, well, hopefully lead them into a comeback of epic precautions. Let's do a demand more and hope that more goals are coming soon. We'll go forward now to Val. Val finds Anderson and hopefully someone will get a tackle in or an interception or something. But of course not because now Issa's going to run at us and that's going to be four. No, it's not. Okay, we've, we've got away with a little bit of lag, but we've got away with it. And hopefully we'll defend this corner up because if we don't, we're in trouble. Val is taking it. Someone's sprinting up from the stands, apparently. Into the box, Carlotto heads it clear. So only it's five Robson. Eddie Clare again by Carlotto. Strecker's looking lively. Goes chasing them down. Foul now on the ball. Fish to trying to go So Fen went it back to Val. And luckily that pass was massively over hit. We do still have time for a fight, but let's get to something really, really special to get that done. And these players have to be really up for us. Gutenberg to Vinicius Tobias now, who is gonna try and run us. We need to get more pressing going on. I feel like it's Anderson runs over us. I do have a pressing, a gauge of press set up that I could probably switch to. But it might be a bit late. Anderson into the box. Robson, I mean, to the selection. Let's, uh, before we do that, let's get in there and see if I have got that set up. I should have. I should have that on marble. One, two. Let's have a look. Is that the Gagan press? That's that's our Gagan press. It's not the Gagan press, but is it? Oh, we've not used this one a while. This is what's really good for chasing games. Uh, who is best at doing that in central midfield? Okay, 
Uh, let's try. Do you know what? We've got absolutely nothing to lose at this point. This, I remember being good for chasing games. Let's just make sure we've got everyone in their best possible positions for this. Uh, that should work fine. Is anyone better at attacking on board that cab ball? Uh, no. Okay. Let's screw it. Let's give that a go. Let's go to that. I've not used that in a while. I don't remember how well this formation works, but we're two goals down. We're 20 minutes to play in the quarterfinal of the FA Cup. There's nothing to lose, so let's just go for it. Send all the boys up top and hope something special happens. There's kind of lots of heads in the way. And Dreyu with a clearance. Looking to go into touch and does. Hopefully gives us time to reshuffle, work out what we're doing. And then we can come back stronger. And hopefully three guys attacking will have a small chance of getting some goals. That's what we need, especially with Gary Dillon not on the pitch. Well, it sounds like it's not to be the quintuple is gone. So I guess we're going to have to go for a quadruple instead. We've both already won the European Super Cup and the League Cup. And uh, we have South the League and the Champions League to play for. We could be in danger of bottling both. That's gone badly. It finishes 3-1. And um, yeah, I we're trading tomorrow. That's what we're going to say. If we're trading tomorrow, best sort your lives out. So... Uh, we're going to come out for the first leg against Manchester United in the next episode, so I don't even really need to show you that. Um, thanks for watching. I haven't always been chasing lamely. Till next time, do like, subscribe, ring the bell, all that good stuff. Stay safe and uh, have a good one.